Hello guys and welcome to a Unity tutorial about how to make a scrolling background. Um, so first things first, you have to make a double uh, right click 3D object quad. When you've made that quad, let's name it background. Um, then be sure to make the quads fit for the whole screen, like if if, if you want it to fit for the whole screen. Uh, okay, so it's filled up all the space in the game scene. Now we'll go to our assets folder, make a new folder called background. When you've made this, just go in here, get any background you like. I already have one background which is ready, so we I have this. It always says sprite 2D and UI and all this. So click on the make it default make this repeat so it actually repeats in this game and leave that as it is for by the near okay now click on the background and drag your 2d texture into here and there we have a background but it's not scrolling and it's too dark you have two options you can just create um, light and make a directional light for it and um, make it like this, like intensity, make it up, down, darker, lighter or, let's just delete this, or you can just click on, go to the background, click on the standard on lit texture, it just gets it to its normal color so now, when you play, it's just a background, it does nothing so now, we have to make the background scroll uh, horizontally well, okay, you're just standing there, nothing now we'll go to back to our assets and make a new C sharp script and name it background scroll. Okay, when you've made it background scroll, we're gonna open in Mono Develop. So our, this is a very 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 simple script. It's only at least three lines of code. We just write what the speed has to be and what the speed does like it gets it horizontally and as to the horizontally if you want it to be vertically I'm going to show you that as well and first in the mono develop we have to get the line of code at the top which says void start because we do not need the void start for this background scrolling because it's not like only at the start we want it every single time Okay, we get this voice start away. Public float. Well, you can call it anything. I'm going to call it speed. Is normally equal to 0.5f. You have to have this f on, so you can actually change it later, like it's editable. And in the update, don't forget the semicolon as well. In the update, you're going to write vector. To, I'm going to call it offset is equal to new vector 2 and some brackets time dot time uh, multiplied by speed because we called it speed at the top okay comma zero so this will just make it go uh, x position like this Y then X, it just goes vert, um, horizontal sorry okay second oh we forgot the semicolon second you're gonna write get component renderer oh sorry renderer okay uh, two brackets so it's an okay after that material dot main texture offset so we call the offset so it's obvious you can um, just write the offset and e write equal to offset okay so this is simply it we ha you have nothing else to do so we're gonna save the script come back to here let it compile and when that's finished, what you have to do, you have to go to the background. Um, okay. 
Um, let's just compile. It might take a bit because we just add a new code which is for the first time. You just get. The, you can drag it here. Oh, sorry. You can just drag the script like this. Or let me show you, show you the other way. Or just click add component and write the name of your script. Okay. Normally it's 0 0.5. So now let's play this. And you see, you'll see that the background will go horizontally at the speed of 0 0.5. And there. So you might say, oh, that's a bit fast. If you get the speed down, it goes slower. If you get it, you might get a little annoying if it's too fast. Get it to 0 0.5. And if you get it to minus, it'll go to left. Like if your game is another language which is right to left, you can just make the background like that okay so now this is a game like a player goes horizontally what if the player wants to go if it if it's a game that a player goes vertically okay then it's a very simple thing we're gonna open the script and this which is simply the zero make it next to the time okay save that and let it compile and when that's finished compiling, the background should go up instead of going right and left. And okay, okay, it's finished compiling. Let's play it. You see that the background will go up. Um, might take a bit of time. Okay, you see the background is going up. And when we come to the speed, you can make the speed a little slower going up. And as I said, if you make it minus, if this drop down game, a player drops down, you can just make it minus. Uh, thank you for watching this video, and we'll be soon back for more Unity tutorial.